Hey guys, welcome back to Ever RC. So recently we released about 200 sets of these uh, steel gears for the Axel and uh, some of you guys have uh, issue with it getting a proper mesh. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it work. I have actually cut up the input cover here so I can see what's going on with the meshing inside. But it may be the same or different in your case. You actually have to adjust it accordingly. This one, after I've uh, added shims and made some adjustment, it sounded like the uh, meshing of the brass gear so that it's correct. You want a little bit of uh, uh, binding so that, uh, so that you can uh, break it in to make it even smoother. You can either break in by attaching the drill on the output shaft or just put it in your car and run and then it becomes smooth. So between the brass gear and the steel gear, there are slight difference in the dimension and changes in it. The most obvious would be the difference in the position of the flat spot on the input gear. This one will remedy it. Uh, we'll cut a further 1mm uh, flat spot on the steel shaft. As well as the size of the steel gear, there's a slight difference. So basically, I need to add shim to this to make it run smooth. Now I'm going to show you in this video now. So you're going to install your axle shaft uh, accordingly as the manual. The only difference here is, is that you have to add uh, some of the shim here. These are M2 shim, okay, that you can purchase separately. They are M2 size shim. Uh, or washer with an M3 size hole. You can buy this M2 shim locally and then drill it with a 3mm or M3 size drill bit so that it fits into this shaft. It has to be M2 otherwise uh, M3 wouldn't fit in the cavity over here. If you have a 6x6 metal upgrade packs uh, that comes with this shim, if it's a 4x4 metal upgrade packs then currently they don't come with it yet. But you can get it from the official store. In my case I need to add about uh, 6 shim over here in between the ring gear and the bearing but in your case it may be different the point here is that you want to reduce the play when this shaft is placed on the axle case so in this case there's hardly any play now it's quite solid so you can ensure the position of the ring gear in the axle so there's uh, no play uh, that causes some of the jamming or gear jumping issue so the play now is very very minimum. So you actually have to adjust this accordingly. One of the tips is that um, before you install this uh, wheel adapter, make sure the space here, they are equal on both sides. So you know the axle shaft is uh, basically centered. Then you can install it. While you are installing, uh, push it in as well to uh, reduce any gap. Okay, so there's no free play. Then uh, install the axle cover. Now comes to the input axle cover side. After installing bearing on both sides, you want the washer on top of the inner bearing. And because in the market, there are actually different thickness kind of uh, M3 washer. But best is to use M2 washer from us because of the design of the bearing. So you will need to uh, well try this out uh, accordingly to check with the, the mesh. So I apply thin type of uh, M3 washer here. The thickness I think not tri critical since uh, it's different everywhere depending on where you get it. In my case, over this side uh, at the input shaft, I actually have to put a thicker uh, washer. And then while I'm installing the dry shaft cup, I need to push the input gear towards this side. And I make sure it's the hole aligns with the flat spot. And now install your dry shaft cup. And I remember to add Loctite, otherwise it will sure, I guarantee that you just get loose by itself. So, you want to reduce as uh, much free play as possible. So there's uh, hardly any free play now, but not too tight. Then you can install it in. Okay, and then now you can see the... I'm not sure whether the camera is able to focus it correctly or not to show you the inner workings so it's very, very smooth i'm going to install the axle cover be sure to remove the paint on all four studs by gripping it with a plier this is a method by run the rc very clever method once you have removed the paint on four studs you can uh, well drop it in easily instead of being very tight then i'm going to just install only two screws for demonstration Okay, so it's really smooth at the input shaft side 
at the output shelf, if there's slight bind, I think this is a good thing so that uh, you give it a run in so that it's meshing properly. Otherwise, if you are spinning your output shaft and it's very smooth, I think you will get jammed at certain angle because I realize the actual issue with this is the free play at the input shaft is swinging left and right so causing the gear to not mesh properly so what happened is when when it swings towards left the gear actually separate apart so the two gears actually collide together and causing the jam so that's why you want to close up mesh in between the input gear and the ring gear as much as possible without causing uh, it to bind completely if there's slight bind like this it's fine so that you just uh, run it in, break in to uh, make it mesh properly. So you can uh, put your drill over here to uh, spin it up like this, like this. So it's actually very smooth. So I hope this helps. If you find this video helpful, you can buy me a coffee. You can find out a link in the description. If you want to buy anything WPRC with uh, after sales support, you can check out the official store. And we have a new release here. This is uh, the realistic accessories pre-painted so you do not need to paint it by yourself anymore which is really tedious so i'll do a separate video uh unboxing this so please like and subscribe because according to youtube there's 95 percent of you guys who never subscribe so smash the like and subscribe button i'll see you on next video yes i'm serious there's next video so see ya bye